exercise 5.4 exercise 5.4 first question this is the right angle triangle this is the right angle triangle how will be the right right angle triangle it is having the 90 degree it is having the 90 degree okay which is the greater angle here 90 suppose this is 45 45 this will be 90 which is the greatest angle here b is the greatest angle the angle opposite to the ac is the longest side this is the longest side this is this is the greater angle here what we have to prove is ac is the longest side ac is the longest side by seeing only we can tell ac is the longest side okay now given that given that see i am writing to prove abc given that abc is a right angle right angle triangle triangle such that such that at b at b at b therefore if b is equal to 90 degree a plus b is equal to c uh, some otherwise we will do like this we know that therefore angle b is equal to 90 degree we know that sum of a triangle is sum of a triangle is equal to 180 degree 180 degree means a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degree what is b here 90 plus c is we don't know therefore a plus c is equal to 180 minus 90 what is a plus c 90 degree take this equation as 1 okay means if this is 90 180 minus 90 is the remaining a plus c 180 minus 90 is the remaining a plus c got this okay next now 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 angles a and c are each less than 90 degree obviously a and c are less than 90 degree obviously a and c are less than 90 degree. where is b is equal to only b is 90 degree but here a and c are both sum is 90 degree okay by using these two we can write b is greater than a and angle c is greater than b is greater than c c b is 90 b is greater than a angle and b is greater than c angle b is greater than c angle okay now angle b opposite side is ac angle b opposite side is ac angle a opposite side is c opposite side is bc angle a opposite side is bc like this you have to write like this you have to write angle b opposite side is ac and angle c opposite side is ab a so ac is greater than bc ac is greater than ab therefore from 1 and 2 we can say that hypotenuse is the this is 2 and this is 3 therefore from 2 and 3 what is ac ac is the hypotenuse ac is the hypotenuse therefore from 2 and 3 ac is the or hypotenuse ac take hypotenuse ac is the longest side longest side see here what we have got is this is from this is here right right here sides 
opposite to the sides opposite to the greater angles is longer to the greater angles is longer how we wrote this is from theorem 5.7 sides opposite to the greater from theorem 5.7 sides opposite to the 5.7 theorem 5.7 see here what we have done is take a right angle triangle this is the hypotenuse ac is the hypotenuse this is called hypotenuse in a right angle triangle ac ac is the hypotenuse largest side is called hypotenuse in a right angle triangle only in a right angle triangle not in equilateral scaling okay let ac is the hypotenuse what is the given abc is a right angle triangle at b means b is equal to 90 degree they have given this is the given this is the given okay now we know that sum of a triangle is 180 if this is 90 180 minus 90 is 90 180 minus 90 is 90 therefore a plus b is equal to how much 90 degree a plus c is equal to 90 degree now by this by this we can tell by this we can tell b is 90 a plus c is 90 means two angles sum is 90 here only one angle is 90. Therefore, B is greater than A, B is greater than C. B is greater than A, B is greater than C. Okay. Next, we have to write the sides opposite to these angles. The sides opposite to these angles. B opposite side is AC. A opposite side is BC. B opposite side is AC. C opposite side is a B C opposite side is A B. From from how? From 5.7. From 5.7 means the sides opposite to the greater angle is longer. Means opposite to C is A B, opposite to B is A C, and opposite to A is B C. Okay. Here A C is greater than B C. Again A C is greater than A B. These two. Angles. AC is greater than these two sides. Therefore, AC is the longest side. Therefore, AC is the longest side. Did you understand this? Huh? Okay. Next. Next. In figure 5.48, sides AB and AC of a triangle ABC are extended to points P and Q respectively. Also, angle PPC is less than angle QCB. Show that AC is greater than AB. Show that AC is greater than AB. Now, take second problem. Did you understand this? There is nothing. 